Hello and welcome, my name is Ahura and this is my let's play series of Distant Worlds Universe where we are playing as the Slukins of the Ahuran Empire. Now in the last episode we took over this system up here, uh, the Tatooine oh, click that system, the Tatooine system, uh, which had uh, the last uh, of the independent Slukin colonies that we knew of. Um, which means we now control all of this, almost half of the inner core of the galaxy. So we have a big territory to defend right now. Uh, fortunately, we don't really have any neighbors uh, that uh, are threatening us right now. So we do have some time to um, to build up our forces before we uh, are in any real danger. Uh, one thing uh, we found out, uh, I don't remember if it was last episode or maybe the, the one before. But we found a debris field in here and when we were in here there was also some pirates uh, trying to repair the the fleets. And uh, Black uh, Dragon uh, pointed out that uh, we can't really afford for the pirates to finish those uh, repairs since the, 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 the capital ships will uh, probably be pretty, pretty um, powerful. Uh, so we don't really want those um, in the debris fields here. Uh, another thing we did in the last episode was uh, uh, redesign all our ships here. Um, uh, and we haven't retrofitted anyone yet. Uh, we have a, have a lot of money, but we don't have a lot of cash flow. So let's start this episode by looking at our cash flow. Um, we had started uh, attacking some of these planets. Uh, I don't think this is... Uh, I w if I can, I would like to wait attacking this planet, but this planet ha does already have a lot of uh, p people on it, so I'm gonna put the tax level to 10 here. Not 101, but 10. Let's see. And then I think I'm gonna go and uh, exterminate. They don't, there aren't really that many of the other races and they won't grow because they are enslaved. So I'm gonna exterminate them which will give me a growth bonus uh, for my slokens. Uh, um, yeah. I don't. F I think I'm gonna scrap this. Uh, I don't really need arm two armed factories down there in this area right now. Um, so I have to spare uh, to uh, save some money, I'm gonna scrap this. Let's just uh, hopefully save us some money. And then I just want my my second attack fleet here isn't really doing anything, so I'm gonna send this this uh, fleet up to this system. Uh, just to uh, scare off those pirates and see if, uh, and then I can take care of this base afterwards. And why is the invasion fleet Alpha flying that far away? You can, you can re repair there. Oh, that's the invasion fleet. Oh, so okay. Um, okay, maybe you should just stay here for now. That might be a good idea, and hopefully, we, I think we have built a defense fleet for this system as well. Um, 14th fleet, must be it. Uh, let's rename that to the Tatooine Defense and I've been thinking that it may be, uh, maybe, uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna do this between this episode and the next. I'm gonna rename all the defense fleets so uh, it starts with defense fleet and then ends with, um, with the place they are defending just because it makes it easier to uh, get an overlook of all the fleets. But I'm gonna do this between episodes so you don't have to uh, look at it. Once we get control over this system, we need to get some uh, construction ships up here too. Uh, let's see if we have someone who's... Once they're ready, we're gonna build a... Probably here, a grass mining base. It has both of the fuels in the game, so that's really nice. Okay. 
We got uh, holographic entertainment. And our agent was uh, done. So let's get him to work. Again. Uh, steal some research. Uh, let's go for crew systems. Yeah, and it, it helped out. Uh, that extra tax and uh, it's giving that uh, just uh, that. Uh, that armor plant just gave us about 10,000 cash flow, so that's nice. Abandoned base encountered. Uh, let's uh, investigate that. Galactic history uncovered. We have investigated an abandoned star base at the continental planet Yabla 2 and the Yabla system in sector F7. And a message. Uh, FTL intersect sector news. Emergency broadcast. This is the emergency broadcast to the inhabitants of Ossidian 4. The Shakturi Axis has launched a surprise attack in our system. Shakturi forces are battling with the Third Alliance fleet in orbit over Ossidian 4 at this very moment. Governor Duroshi has ordered the immediate evacuation of all Alliance citizens from the planet. Evacuation transport will be leaving for mul multiple refuge destinations. Make your way to the nearest departure point at once. Okay. Let's find out what that, where that base are. Okay, so in the middle of our systems. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, and it also has a stealth cloak. Nice. Uh, it's not too expensive, uh, so I think I'm gonna keep keep it around just because it's in the middle of all of these uh, systems as we control. Um, so I'm just gonna keep that. And it, it must be a station that spawned because of uh, a mission or something, or destroying a pirate base. Because I'm sure I've checked out this system before. Uh, but w once in a while when you destroy pirate bases, uh, you'll get a mission that uh, they they have some ships somewhere that you can go and find. And it, they can spawn in one of your systems, no problem. I uh, just wanted to check that 14th fleet again, the Tauchin here, they need to be unautomated and hopefully that means that they will actually go up here to the system. I'll just set them up manually, uh, move to planet and then set unautomate. Um, yeah, thank you. So uh, I think the plan for uh, right now is to kind of deal with the pirates in our area, uh, grow our economy so we can afford uh, to f afford some more f uh, ships and uh, stuff like that. And then I think we need to uh, maybe want to take this planet, or we just want to send out some colony ship uh, colony ships. Uh, just want to check if we have any completed colony ships. Uh, we do. So let's get that. Uh, and uh, I want to do some colonies that are uh, systems that we already have. Um, so for example, this is a 100% quality uh, 26k planet. Um, which is pretty nice. And it's in a system that we already control, so we don't have to build an extra fleet to defend it. Uh, so let's actually get that. Ooh. Loris fruit. Okay. So we can get one of the specials here. I forgot we had that. We'll definitely get that then. And we already have a castle in the system, so I think I'm actually gonna take. It's not a, as good as a, a planet, but it has Loris fruit, which is one of the. Let's just check it out. Lord Fruit uh, dramatically increases lifespan. Natural aging process is slowed dramatically, allowing a being to live much longer than normal. Any colony supplied with Lord Fruit does receive the 30% development bonus over and above any other bonus. So this is really nice, so uh, we're definitely gonna send it there. Um, let's see if we can find the... Uh, 
this is pretty much destroyed. Let's just retire that. We're just gonna go to the planet again. Uh, and then we're gonna go do it this way. Colony ship. Select. And colonize. And then uh, we probably need a fleet in here as well. So I'm just gonna build one. And we'll just have to have some negative cash flow once again. But... Uh, it's definitely worth it for color. I think once the fruit starts being transported out into my empire, it will definitely pay for itself, so no problem. Uh, we're just gonna go with uh, six borers and eight destroyers. And I don't want mining stations, I want military ships. And we're gonna add this to a new fleet. We can uh, rename the fleet once um, they're ready to be based. Thank you, that was a nice big gift. How did they rate this system? Um, I know. Are there no troops on this planet? Apparently not. So let's do build some. Okay, I just want to check all our plans that we have troops. Because we don't want uh, getting raided. That's really not good for anything. So this is the only one that didn't have troops, so... Uh, oh, we got a setback in the high power blasters, unfortunately. Construction ships. One of them is ready to build some in here, and we wanted to build that gas mining station. Uh, build a gas mining station. Have anything else in here? That's nice. Yeah, that's a nice. Build uh, mining station here because uh, I'm. I'm, I want this to be our uh, second uh, base, uh, space big base. Um, I want all of the important, uh, all of the important uh, resources up here uh, as well, so uh, we don't have to transport it too far, um, because we are gonna be building ships up here as well. Oh, and we need to do some more energy research. So, let's just finish efficient hyperdrives, just because it's so close. And then I think I'm gonna go for... Uh, I'm gonna go for advanced maneuvering, just because it's an upgrade. Uh, I might as well do these guys as well. Yeah. Then we are gonna go for, uh, yeah. Just a couple of upgrades to things we already have. And just to check out. Still have plenty of research being done. And our research potential is getting higher, which is nice. Border the ship. See if they have anything interesting. Uh, not really. Yeah, we are we are progressing b b past the maybe this. Okay, so we can actually disassemble this for something. But we are getting to a point where we our technology is starting to uh, exceed that of the the pirates. Uh,
this will just be scrapped. But as I was saying, we are we are starting to surpass the pirates in technology, so uh, I might soon wanna the boarding sh ships might soon uh, not be the best idea anymore if the um, if we can't really get anything out of boarding them, we might as well put on some extra firepower instead. But uh, we'll look at that when uh, the time comes. And let's just steal some more research here. Um, uh, what do we want? Maybe fusion ignition? Oh. Maybe I just want to check this out. Fusion ignition. Yeah, we definitely want that. That's the special power thing. So let's go for that. I wonder if... Uh, yeah, it's, it's probably because it's a, a, a special thing that it's a lower percentage. So I'm just gonna go a year on that just to make sure that we don't uh, get caught. That would really be... Wouldn't be nice. What is the Bill Suez Defense Fleet doing out here? Oh, it's refueling. Uh, probably checked this already, but just want to be sure. Nope, only hydrogen. So that's also... Uh, it's one of the things you wanna think about. Um, if we if we change to this kind of reactor, we need to use hydrogen for fuel. And uh, before we do that, we kind of need to make sure that we do actually have hydrogen around um, in 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 the places where we need fuel. He probably will get uh, oh that. Came a defensive fleet, very nice. And almost to that uh, debris field. Took some time. Seabook construction project discovered. We have discovered a huge unfinished construction project in the Bill Rivers system. Under construction is a normal mobile military base that houses super weapon designed to destroy an entire planet. The base, named the Desolation Moon, appeared to have been abandoned when it was only half finished. Once the base is complete, it will allow the processor to dominate the galaxy. In addition, exam uh, examining the advanced technology in this project would no doubt provide significant research bonus to our empire. So let's check that out. So that's all the way over here. So that's actually even more important. This is one of the world destroyers. And who is the other Slukans are trying to repair this? Uh, maybe they are actually trying to repair something, but this is one of the world destroyers that can actually destroy a planet. Uh, we can't see the design, uh, but this is pretty pretty important that it doesn't fall into the hands of uh, the pirates or anyone else. So. Um, it will take a long time to repair, so I won't do anything about it uh, right now, especially since we uh, we aren't really uh, we don't have any problems with these guys right now. Uh, we aren't friends with them either, but uh, we might as well uh, just keep uh, keep the, the fairly okay re relationship right now because it will take a long time for this to be repaired. Let's see, can it, it's 201 components unbuilt, but definitely needs to keep an eye on that. Uh, so I think I actually I'm gonna just put this uh, exploration ship uh, at the star, just so we can keep an eye on that uh, that system. Oh, so the construction work was set back. So let's just uh, build and set a new spaceport to be built. So that was uh, const uh, some other, or maybe also you'll need pirates. Yep, just wait, wasted that money. Need the, that defense fleet to come back. 
Why is it just over there? Okay, so we are in this system now, and it seems that it's empty right not right now. Um, but there's a lot. It's almost a finished ship here, so uh, I want to send one someone to repair that when uh, we can. Actually, have a castle on planet here, so we might uh, want to build a station there, so we can have some someone looking out for this as well. But uh, in the meantime, let's have attack this pirate base. Okay, you are okay. You are flying back. Okay, nice. That's the last space port. Well, it seems that we have no problem taking that out. We finished preparing one of the capital ships up here. Let's take that out. We don't have direct control again, uh, yet because there's uh, a, a bit of a timing problem between the the rep uh, the repairing and the actual uh, uh, finishing of the repairing. Some some timing problem there, but we do we can always check out what's on it. It's a pretty expensive ship to keep around, almost two and a half thousand or more than two and a half thousand to keep around. But it does have uh, pretty okay firepower. Uh, maybe not the best in the world. Uh, has some um, uh, fleet fleet countermeasuring systems, iron cannons. It's a pretty okay ship. Um, just want to make sure what are our cruisers at. They, are, they actually have more firepower than this ship, so um, might not be worth it to keep it around, but um, or maybe f just for the fleet uh, counter mission systems and stuff like that. So we'll we'll find out. We we'll also have to design our own capital ships at some point. Uh, but we just uh, need to keep an eye on this now, so. Uh, we can set him to work again when she when it's done. And now they are done here, um, almost. So let's just send them to refuel. And oh, and he's done. So let's uh, keep him, get him to get some alls, some uh, repair this ship, and then this ship, um, which fleet? I think we're just gonna add it to the beta fleet. Uh, attack fleet beta. Who is leading? Are you leading? Oh, it is the leading ship. Okay. How are we doing on the space station up here? Have we actually built a uh, spaceport? Nope. I still need uh, to transport some things up there. Uh, but we should have the defense back in build to us, so we can start constructing a spaceport here as well. And hopefully, uh, we can uh, get our things transferred up, up there pretty easily. Found another independent colony. Where is that? Probably along... Oh, not that far away. Uh, I think it's one of the ones we already knew about, but... Um, And we are starting to lose a fair bit of money in the cash flow right now. Uh, and I'm just wondering uh, about that um, colony ship. Yes. 
on its way. Very nice. Hopefully it will, that will also help out on the on the money side of things. And about about that uh, fleet that we made to defend it. Yes, it's ready. So let's get them up them up here. System. Can't base them here yet. Nope. But we can. And I'm just gonna name this uh, as a defense. the Kestus. This is how I'm gonna rename all the defense fleets just so uh, it will be easier to uh, keep track of them in the uh, war here. And we have bought a new ship which then exploded right away. I think that defense fleet up here now, yeah, that's the defense fleet up here now. So we'll just get those these guys to re repair. Oh, and they can already repair the stations. That's nice. Found a ruin. Let's investigate that. Got some uh, directions for E1. So let's check that out. E1 is up here. So let's send an exploration ship up there. You have no mission, but you can't really reach it. And I wanted you to be there. Uh, you can get up there, so let's uh, get you up there. Oh, that's a bit off center. That's better. Got some money, thank you. And our construction ships are busy. And once uh, they are repaired, we want to go out and take care of these two pirate bases. So we need some Tiderius up there. Probably have a lot of it already. Yeah, a lot of, yeah we have tin sources, so it's just a matter of uh, getting our private ships to transport it up there. How are they looking? The private, a lot of riders, a lot of riders, so that shouldn't be a problem. It's just a matter of time. Uh, and that's the, uh, the reason why, as I said, we want to make sure that we have uh, all the resources up in this area as well. Because it takes a long time to transport it all the way up here, so it's much easier to have, uh, have it at both planets. I think our colony ship is here. Yes. Oh, we need to get this repaired. What is, uh... Okay, this fleet has been really damaged. Need to get you repaired. And we colonize this planet. Very nice. Uh, let's just recruit some more planetary defense here. And we're just gonna disband that actually. And let's go have a look at the planet. Uh, let's find the defense fleet for it. Base it here. And we can just start building a small spaceport. Very nice. Um, oh, I just wanted to make sure that the defense fleet is automated. And we need to make... Uh, maybe I want to build a space station up here to, to help with the repair up here. Uh, it's not really... Um, 
kind of a problem if they these guys uh, can repair need to leave because uh, this is pretty important station so let's get uh, someone over to repair that right away For some reason, our, my escorts just keep going into these systems. Uh, still don't know how, how to make that stuff, so uh, really nothing I can do there. Why aren't that ship getting repaired? ships are in queue, that's maybe why. Anyway, uh, it looks like we've hit that wrapping up point, so um, hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one.